Look, it is hot out here today, and it was hot last week. Groups like Colby's Army are here helping give cold water and other essentials to folks experiencing homelessness out in this kind of weather. And that is why they say they were surprised when last week the city told them they could no longer do this at a local park. Jess Wilson with Colby's Army knows her way around. She's, we've got a basket, a basket of women's clothes, a basket of men's clothes. We've got toiletries. We've got some books, hats, sunglasses. Her group helps people experiencing homelessness, especially with access to water. It's often a team effort. Hi, lady. Y'all are all matching today. <laughs> so she says she was surprised last week while at Richland Park handing out water and a bite to eat. There was a, a parks officer and a metro officer that was there waiting and just asked what, what we were doing, asked if we had a permit to be passing out food. Metro Parks told us Tuesday they'd received complaints from neighbors about Colby's Army handing out food and water and that a permit would help neighbors know when they'd be there. And we need access every single day to multiple different parks because we serve people in multiple different parks. So we were all flustered, you know, so, but that's not gonna stop us. We're gonna meet them where they're at, meet them where they're at, whether it be Metro Park or offsite. So for now, offsite, away from Richland Park, it is. We gonna go up here and gather our ones that's in the library. Yeah. And we'll meet y'all across the street, okay? We followed up with Colby's Army, who told us they're now in talks with Metro Parks to get a free permit to continue their work as they wait on word of when the full Metro Parks board will be able to take up that proposal. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5.